To graph the inequality, y is greater than negative 4x minus 3, we start by graphing what is called the boundary line. And in this case, that's y equals negative 4x minus 3. So setting up our chart, we have our x's, our y's, and negative 4x minus 3. Plugging our values of 1, 0, and negative 1 in for x, we find that y equals negative 4 times 1 minus 3, or negative 7, negative 4 times 0 minus 3, or negative 3, and negative 4 times negative 1 minus 3, or positive 1. So plotting these points on a coordinate system, we have 1, negative 7, zero, negative three, and negative one, one. Before graphing a line through these points, however, let's take a look back at the original inequality. Notice that y is greater than negative four x minus three. It is not equal to negative four x minus three. So the line y equals negative 4x minus 3 is not a part of the solution set. However, it does form a boundary on the graph. So to represent this idea, we draw a dotted line through our points. The solutions to this inequality will all lie on either one side or the other of this boundary line. So to determine where the solutions lie, we choose a test point to plug back into the original inequality from either side of the boundary line. Usually the easiest point to try is the origin, zero, zero. So plugging a zero, zero, back into the original inequality. We have zero is greater than negative four times zero minus three, or zero is greater than negative three. Since zero is greater than negative three is a true statement that means the point zero, zero is part of the solution set. And in fact, all points on this side of the boundary line will also be part of the solution set. So to represent this idea, we shade toward the point zero, zero. And we have our graph.